I don't know who decided that this is something the world needs, but we're gonna play it. Please enter your store name. Yeah, this sounds like a very appropriate name. Too long. Okay, without store then. Still too long. Why the fuck do you even give me the option to make it this long then? No one needs this. Boom. Okay, finally. There we go. How to control. Okay, yeah, I guess we will figure this out. Okay, here we are. Wait, is that my home? Yeah, what a nice looking apartment. Just this forever single bed here and like the bedside table next to it. Cool. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, it's also really safe. No, let's just let's just leave it open so everybody can like break into our lovely home. I love that all of the people behave very normal in this city. Oh my god, I can no I can punch people. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's not a fight, mate. Oh, uh, what? Okay, cool. So I can fight people. Oh my god, they drop money. <laughs> Let's remember this for later. In case we ever need money, we can just start punching people. What the fuck kind of street is that? What is this city? Oh, I found something interesting. We have a casino here. Ah, yes. This is exactly how I imagine people in the casino. Let's play, I guess. Girl, we just... Yeah, let's, let's go for 100. Ah, damn, we lost. Okay, the question is now... Can I just do this forever and make a heck load of money with it? We gotta check this out now. Okay, I will say maybe you can't get rich this way. I'll just take my $11 and leave. The good thing is we have another way to make money. You know, I like the fact that I've spent like a solid hour of that game probably playing blackjack and beating up people and we're still on day number one at 8 55 a.m we have some money let's do what the game actually wants us to do and go into our store ah uh, yes lovely the shop hasn't been maintained for a long time oh you don't say we gotta go to the convenience store okay this is a bakery what the heck am i supposed to get from a bakery ah yes yeah i also buy my broom in a bakery that's Definitely the place to go for it. What now? Put everything right into the garbage can. There we go. Now we suddenly have a laptop here for whatever. I don't know. I don't know how you got here, but fine. Oh my god, we got a cute dog. Okay, so open the web browser. That plastic chair looks lovely. An old computer, a vintage monitor, a vintage keyboard, and a vintage mouse. Yeah, this looks perfect. Wait for delivery to the store. How will... Oh! <laughs> there we go. Thanks for the stuff, mate. Okay, just throw it at me, I guess. Unpack it out here and just throw into our store. <laughs> That's definitely how you handle a computer. Well, then let's place it very conveniently right here here there we go yeah this is a perfect gaming setup don't forget to open the store on your computer oh my god we can get a customer now shop open okay will anyone come in oh, oh my why are you running in here that's perfect that's how i use my that's how i use my <laughs> computer too i also love that everyone on the streets can just see what you're doing would you maybe not stick your face into my monitor oh there's a checkout pending oh you why do you face the wall? Oh, we have a light switch. But I have no lights. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, God. Don't just sneak up behind me like that. How long do you wait for me to collect your money? I stood here for maybe half an hour now. And we can collect some people. But I've seen the first people leave, actually. I guess we have to collect your money now. At least the good thing is I figured out that I can make it more expensive. And the people just don't really seem to care. Come on, give me all your money. What a nice place to sit down, you know, just surrounded by dirt and flies and everything. That bill flashing all the time up there. I don't know what it does. I don't know how to pay. As long as everything works, I guess I will not care about paying that bill. Another thing I just realized is I am very thirsty for whatever reason. And now I kind of want to figure out what happens if I just let it drop down to zero. We're at zero now, and... Okay, my screen is a bit weird. I will faint in 35 seconds. Yeah, okay, I mean, if I will faint in 30 seconds, I guess I will go grab myself something to drink. How annoying is that? How expensive is food in this game? Holy shit. 
Anyway, day six, I still have absolutely no clue how to get to my supermarket, but I guess we could maybe get another computer. We probably could even buy two of everything. Yeah, still fits. Let's go. Here he comes. By the way, I don't think that's the safest way to like transport my PC stuff, but sure, let's go. What is the best way to place this now? Ah, yes, I can just place it inside of the other. <laughs> Okay, fine, I guess. There you go. How are people using the other PC already? Do I not need all of the other stuff? Do I just need another computer and the people are fine with it? Maybe they just need another chair. What if you get another chair? Oh, you <laughs> you just sit? Okay. Okay, I mean, if you can just sit all in the same chair, then why do I even care about it? Look, both can be used at the same time. Why, why do I even have all the other stuff if you're just fine with it this way? Um, sir? Sir? Why, why are you floating away? Oh, and he's floating back in. Yeah, hi, welcome. I love that this is working. <laughs> but that begs the question, how many more people can we fit in that one chair? Why can't I place it? It's perfect. What do you want? I feel like three is the maximum. We can't get any more people in there. But it doesn't allow me to place it in any good way, so... And even if I place it over here... It doesn't take the same chair anymore. It doesn't even take the same computer. From here on, we need another one, sadly. So three is the maximum we can fit in there. But that's fine, you know? We can we can work with three. Surely we can make this even worse. Because who needs personal space? Okay, guys, I think I found the perfect corner. We have four PCs here and only one chair. So, I don't know. I hope the people will somehow get in here. Why is nobody coming in though anymore? What happened? Is it too dirty? Do I actually have to clean up my shop? Fine, I guess. Can you please come in here now? Why do you not love this perfect arrangement of PCs? Okay, so I reset the game now. Let's see if maybe now some people want to come in our store again. And there we go. Finally, people want to join again for four hours. Are you crazy? By the way, I just realized something. We have a skill tree up here. Why can I improve my fist damage? So nothing really useful here. I guess we'll take all the movement speed we can get just so we're faster. And why does nobody want to go to our cool PC corner over here? Maybe because they can't get to this chair? Is it that? Is it really because you can't go to your chair? What if I do it like this? Oh, it's really because you couldn't get to your chair. Can I at least make it really annoying for you to get in here? This will still work, right? Yeah. Why are you angry? What is going on? Why are you so angry? Let's see if I can somehow set up the worst internet cafe ever. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty good. I think we have like the maximum of PCs that you can have in here now. And besides like a few people that are stuck, our little maze system actually works pretty well. Because there's only one entrance now, as you can see over here. They all have to go like, for example, this way if they want to get to the computer right over here. Where they can sit totally normal in their chairs and inside of other customers. Because that's just what you do in our internet cafe now. But you know, that's good because that means that you can get really close with one another. Maybe we're also just starting new relationships here. I would say this is a full-on success. The only problem now is... Although I have an incredible internet cafe now, I still have absolutely no goddamn clue where my supermarket is. Oh wait, I just realized something. In our web browser, we have something called store expansion. Oh. Well, that explains a thing or two. What happens if I click here now? Oh, well, our store is a lot bigger now. So if I were to guess, we probably just have to build our supermarket in the same room. So basically, we have an internet cafe over here and just our supermarket right next to it. You know what I'll just do? I will just wait here now until we can buy every store expansion. And then we'll just see how it goes. I mean, we just get free money now. I just have to wait here and not do anything else. So it's the next day now and we made a decent amount of money. But I realized that we stopped making money like a solid 20 minutes ago, and I don't really know why that's happening, so let's check. Oh, okay. No, oh, that's that's looking that's looking good. I mean it's a bit dirty in here, but it's not really a big problem. There are some flies and people are like stuck everywhere. Anyway, let's let's buy some new area. 
We can't get everything, so I will just... Ah, come on, let's get this too. We can't get the last one. I don't have the money for that. Let's see how this looks. Oh, we kind of solved our problem. This looks, um, interesting. And I have no idea where you're trying to go. I guess the problem is that this thing is closed for whatever reason. But why does it close again instantly? Hey, wait, why, why do you close instantly again? What happened? Okay, let's see. I just save the game and boot it back in. Will you stay up this time? I guess that is a no. Well, let's first of all, the store has been locked. Please repay. What do you mean repay? Do you have to pay my bills or what is the problem? Oh, when the total amount of unpaid bills exceeds 20,000, the store will be permanently closed. Well then, so after, wait, what was it? 61 days, it is time that we pay our bills. I guess we do that. There we go. Now that our store is working again, I'd say let's save some money up again. Not a lot, just a bit. And then I have a really good idea what we can do with all of our new space over here. This should be enough money for my evil plan. Now we go into the eBay market again, but this time we buy supermarket shelves. And for whatever reason, we need supermarket level 2 to buy product shelves large. So let's get some small ones first. Yeah, 20, 20 should be enough for the moment. And here he comes again with his forklift and my shelves. I really don't understand how shelves can fit into small boxes, but I don't mind. We just take you and place you here. Why can't I place it here? Oh yeah, I forgot. Because this game has great logic. As you can see, there is dirt on the ground. And as soon as this dirt is gone, I should be able to place you. Exactly. Because, as we all know, you can't place any furniture on dirty ground. That's just how it works in real life. So anyway, I will continue this as soon as I kind of cleaned up all this way. Okay, this looks good. There's only two more things that we need. One of them is a cash register and the other thing is actual food. And since for whatever reason, for most of this stuff, we need a higher supermarket level, I guess we start with spicy potato chips. Now the question is, is there a limit with how many spicy potato chips we can buy? <laughs> um, we only get 99, but for whatever reason, my total still goes up. What kind of deal is this now? <laughs> Anyway, let's just buy 99 of those now and see how the dude can get all of this here. Oh, yeah, that looks totally safe. No, this looks definitely like the best way to transport those. Fuck, I only realized one thing. One of those is our cash register. Yeah, this was a shelf and we have spicy potato chips. I guess let's first of all fill all of our shelves with some nice potato chips. How do I place you? Eh? Why can't I place you? Okay, let's do what the task tells us to do. Why do I have to go to the supermarket warehouse? Can I... Okay, I can place it here. Well, cool. And how do I get them into my shelves now? Okay, what if I place you here? Then I go back into my store and press replenish goods. Ah, now I can fill it in. No, I mean, that makes way more sense that I can somehow magically teleport my stuff from over there over here. No, true. Now, can I can I change the price? They are quite stupid, so let's just see if they will maybe also buy it for like a hundred. Now, we only need another checkout counter, and because I definitely won't search it in all of my boxes out there, I just buy another one. And now, obviously, we take it at the easiest location to reach right over here. There we go. And now I'd say our supermarket is open for business. What, you don't like potato chips? Or is it too expensive? Okay, so let's see what happens if, let's say, we reduce the price to a more acceptable $5. Okay, a person looks at the stuff and they buy some thing. Where did you get the basket from? Okay, cool. Anyway, yeah, come over here. Oh, I actually have to drag it over there myself. Wait, you're not even paying me? Oh no, okay, I get paid. I just don't see the money. Yeah, so anyway, you guys can wait here for a moment. I will see if I can somehow make that automatically because I don't want to be the person cashiering all the time there. I could get an employer, but for whatever reason, I need supermarket level 6 for that. That's not a possibility. We have a cargo robot. It can help you carry various goods in batches. It does not need to be refueled and recharged and it will never feel tired. Here he is! Hello! 
Hey brother, can you like work? How do I operate you? Oh, I can just like give you stuff. Ah. Oh, I found my other <laughs> I found my other checkout thing. Cool. I have absolutely no clue how you're carrying all of that, but fine. As long as it works. And now you just follow me in here. Oh, you don't really help me with it. You only like transport it over. It's not easy to run an inter inter intermarket super cafe. You can't get a cashier. You can't get a robot that works for you. But at least everybody loves potato chips. Cool, so now that we're at supermarket level 4, I can finally get the large product shelves. And as before, let's just get some of them. A few more boxes, cool. And now we will continue the one thing why I even started this. Because as you can see out here, we have an amazing maze already. And in here, we will continue this. Because it should not be an easy thing to get to our amazing potato chips. Doesn't this look lovely? Sure, some shelves are unreachable, but who really cares about that? Let's go for a quick tour. Over here in this corner are the only few shelves that are stocked. Of course, only with our spicy potato chips. And then you have to somehow get through this maze. Oh, yeah, well, we, we, we gotta run through it now until you get to this point. And then, okay, I fixed it. And now you can walk through here all the way to our checkout area with the one cashier that I hired. I don't know, she's been working for like 10 days straight already and she I, I don't think she needs to take a break. She just loves to do her job. I would say we are doing amazing. Is there any other stupid stuff that we can do? I don't quite know what a clown mask it is, but I definitely want to find out. So you're hired. Oh god, I hear music. Oh my god. Yeah, I I don't know if that attracts more people. I, I honestly think this is more scary than everything else. I mean, you're talking, but I don't hear anything. Oh god, he's dancing. No, no, no. Just, just no, just no. There's one other experiment that we have to do. You see, all of our shelves here are pretty, pretty... I don't want to say empty, but they are empty. And to fix that, I think the best solution is just to buy more potato chips. And maybe, you know, let's test our little forklift guy a bit. And just see how many potato chips he can possibly transport on his forklift. Yeah, a few more potato chips can't hurt. And here we go. Purchase order. And then let's see what he delivers us now. Yeah, this is quite tall. Of course, he just drops them down like it's nothing. You know, maybe the boxes will become a problem, but who cares about that? Let's see, where do you go? Can I follow you? Let's quickly check where he goes. Okay, you just <laughs> run over some people on the way. That's fine, that's fine. And then you just... into the void. Okay, cool. Well then, I'd say let's test his limits. And when I say test his limits, I really mean test his limits. We switched to canned coke, by the way, just because it's a bit cheaper and it doesn't matter for the size of the boxes anyway. I think this should really test our forklift, dude. Let's see what happens if we press purchase order. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god, oh my god, my frames. Oh, holy shit, oh, holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> They're just raining down from nowhere. <laughs> I also don't really see the tower getting any smaller. I stood here for a solid 20 minutes now, maybe. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like the tower did not move at all. But one thing that changed is my frame rate. I don't really know how the forklift guy is supposed to ever get out of there again. I also love that our internet cafe rating is just getting higher and higher. We are at 3.02 right now. And I have no clue how the fuck that's happening. I mean, you can't even get in there anymore. Our robot friend is also really buried in boxes. Our mascot is not even visible anymore, but I still hear the music. So I guess he's still alive. Oh my god. I think that tower is getting smaller. The boxes are finally decreasing a bit. I feel like whatever happens next could be really funny because I can't see the forklift anymore. Um, yeah. My guy decided to, oh god, decided to break free. Where's he at? <laughs> there he goes. Just leaving all the chaos that he created behind. Oh my god. Can I maybe somehow get 
on top of my of my supermarket. Oh my god. Oh my god. The packages ate me. Um, hello? Yeah, I think we have a small problem here. <laughs> I don't think I can get out of this. I think this is the sign of my supermarket. The entry should be somewhere down there, but I don't really know. I have one final idea what we can do. We have this nice button here. So we can reset our position. Through mysterious powers, we are back home. I mean, if you want to call it a home. And I will say, over here, our frames are surprisingly good. So let's look at this thing. Oh yeah, it's lovely. As we can see, the boxes have invaded our store. I don't think I can get in there anymore. I don't think we can get up there. Uh, although, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my god, where am I now? Oh my god, I'm on the tree. No, yeah, I did it. I did it. We are on our supermarket. And I got my frames back. Easy. So let's look at this internet cafe and supermarket over here. With our one cashier and the dude who, for whatever reason, seems to be stuck in here. And this is the end of the map. Well, then I think... Our supermarket is buried with boxes. There's nothing else that I can do anymore to get in here. And exactly, I will just succumb to my own mess that I've created. I will just become one of the packages. This internet cafe slash supermarket will be open for one more day until all of my bills are unpaid and it will get closed down by the city. But that is not my problem. Then they have to clean up all of that mess that is out of my hands. Not my thing anymore. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on the video so I can make more of these. And maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.